Hi, I'm Megan Wygant, and I'm the executive director of Clara. It's 4 o'clock on a Wednesday, and you're standing in the main hallway of a 100-year-old schoolhouse in Midtown. You hear the hum of excited conversation in multiple languages, the downbeat of drums from a youth rock ensemble, the strains of Irish pipes, actors practicing scenes, and above all, the laughter of children. Clara is home to eight cultural organizations who, in exchange for reduced rent, partner with us to bring free arts education programs into the schools of Sacramento. Our building buzzes with creative energy, but the real magic happens when our artists step outside of our walls and into the schools. I don't have the story of how the arts changed the life of a single student that we served because Key to Clara's mission is the idea that the arts are essential to every child. And we were proud last year to serve more than 5,000 students in Sacramento. We work with Title I low-income youth because research shows that when those children are highly engaged in the arts, their SAT scores go up by about 100 points, their high school dropout rate goes down, it's five times lower, and they are twice as likely to graduate college as their economic peers who did not have access to the arts. But 40 years of budget cuts have had an impact, and today less than 25% of Sacramento County youth have access to dance, music, or theater as part of their daily learning. Clara's in-school residencies, where artists come to the schools for 10 weeks to teach their craft, are often the only opportunity that these children have to access life-changing arts education. Last year, Mayor Steinberg challenged Sacramento educators to bring the arts back to every student. And inspired by that, we doubled the number of students we served in a single year. This year, we're going to do it again, but we need your help. You see, the single greatest barrier to Clara's ability to meet this goal is actually access to the artists who have the skills to be successful in a classroom setting. Think about it. You're teaching samba or ballet dance, but it's in a crowded classroom filled with desks rather than a wide, spacious studio. You're teaching guitar to 30 first graders minutes from recess when you usually teach students one-on-one. -on -one. These are standard barriers that limit the number of artists that we have who we can send into the schools. And to combat that, Clara has designed a teaching artist training program that works with artists to divine skills and tools that allow them to manage classroom behavior, transform crowded classrooms into creative spaces, and partner with teachers when their teachers say, can we use your art form to integrate with the new unit on geology? How about geometry? What about Greek mythology? It's going to take Clara $100,000 to launch the Teaching Artist Training Program and reach 10,000 kids next year. I know that's a lot, but the fact is, it's only $10 a child. $10 to bring a child the life-changing benefits of arts education. How many lives do you want to change today?